Hey, what's up guys? I'm Theo Joe. Now, HDR TVs, high dynamic range, are the greatest and latest in television technology, but these aren't cheap. Being brand new technology, they cost thousands of dollars. However, there is a way you might be able to upgrade your current television to use HDR. You see, panel technology and TVs haven't really changed much over the last several years, but what has changed is the computing power available to them. Older TVs, like the ones you and I probably have, are able to display 1080p and even 4K content no problem, but to display HDR content, it takes a lot more computing power. And that computing power is usually the only limitation, not the panel themselves. They haven't changed over the years. So if there was a way for you to somehow increase the computing power in your TV, it would be able to display HDR. But you may be wondering, how could you possibly add more computing power to a television? Well, the truth is you don't have to because you can actually offload some of that processing power onto an external device. In fact, you probably have a computing device in your pocket right now. That's right, cell phones, especially modern cell phones, have enough computing power to be able to handle HDR. But hold on, how could we allow a TV to use a phone's processing power? It's actually extremely easy. The only requirement is that your television has a USB port. The USB port allows the TV to offload some of the GPU and CPU cycles onto the phone that it can't process itself. And as you'll see in a minute when I demonstrate how this works, the best part is that you don't need to mod your phone or change any settings or anything. It's completely automatic and temporary. If you want to disconnect your phone later, no problem. It's not permanent at all. So let's go over to the TV now and I'll show you exactly how to do this. Okay, so here we are with the TV off, and the only other things besides this you're gonna need are your phone, any modern phone will do, and a USB charging cable that goes with your phone. Doesn't matter how it connects to an iPhone lightning connector, as long as it has a USB port that can connect into the back of your TV. If the back of your TV doesn't have a USB port, unfortunately this won't work. So all you have to do is make sure your TV's off, then go and find the USB port on it, plug that side into the TV, and then take the other side and plug it into your phone. Your phone can be on, that's fine. And then you want to go and unlock your phone. So now it's unlocked at your main screen. And then you can go ahead and turn on your TV. It might take a little bit longer to turn on than usual when you go to do this. That's because it has to load the settings off the phone, but you should immediately be able to tell that it has a much more vivid color and look much better overall. Now there's nothing on right now, so I'm gonna do a before and after in a minute, but if you don't notice any change, what you might need to look for is in the settings, there should be something possibly called external acceleration. This is pretty common with Samsung TVs. You can just go ahead and enable that in the settings, and then it should work. Okay, so now that we've connected the TV and the phone, we need to find out if it worked. So let's do a before and after comparison. Here's the before, and as you can see on this older TV, it's pretty bland, the image isn't that great, and nothing special really. But afterwards, you can see that the image is much brighter, the highlights are much brighter, deeper blacks, and much better contrast overall. So the difference is striking, and obviously your results are going to vary significantly based on your individual TV and cell phone, but in any case, you should get some result. So hopefully this video helped you guys out. If it did, let us know in the comment section how well it worked, perhaps what phone and TV you used for others. And if you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up so I know you liked it. If you want to continue watching, I've got some other videos on the right hand side. You can just click those or look in the description for the same link like if you're on a phone. And if you want to subscribe, I make new videos Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, so I think you'll enjoy that. Looking forward to hearing from you guys either here on YouTube or on Twitter. So thanks for watching. I will see you next time. Have a good one.